Johnny Johnny's in the ocean. <laughs> That, that might be your best one yet. That was good. Yep. It, that was that was really good though. Yeah, I surprised me. <laughs> really, really, really. You're, you're surprised that it was good. Surprised Matt, surprised Matt cause it, yeah, it, because most of the time he's never gone. Why do we allow Nick to sing every week? It's terrible. It was surprisingly <laughs> good. Oh, <laughs> but, but <laughs> wow! Ouch! It was ouch! Ouch, babe. It was evenly exciting. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, Nick, that was really great. Um, I liked how you you wrote you you write these different lyrics for the song. You know, you're a real weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, it's something actually I've done since I was a kid. You know, um, I don't know why. Um, uh, I just always made up different lyrics to songs and I just thought it was just a quirk I did, you know, and it's like, um, my youngest nephew's name is Owen and, uh, the e electric. Oh, wow. Uh, does, he the have, does he have a barbecue? <laughs> right. Uh, but, uh, he, uh, his, uh, the band electric light orchestra has a song called, you know, evil woman. And so I used mm. to always sing evil Owen. You know, and uh, you know, and like it actually. But his his young his older brother though heard me singing it one day with all the lyrics I came up with it, and then and I finally looked at him like, don't sing that in front of him <laughs> because like you'll keep him a complex, you know. But, yeah, most songs I I I change the words to you can't repeat. Oh yeah, I do that. And we can repeat on that. One of you, although I I I always I can't remember what I what I do. It's is it. Da, da, da. Anyway, I can't remember. So fuck it. And, Sometimes, I mean, uh, most of the time, I'd say like 90% of the time when I think of a song, it's because I'm in the car and I've got the iPad on op, iPod or iPhone on random. And I, I got my phonograph. Yeah, I got my, yeah. And uh, <laughs> if I if I can fit Ramblecast somewhere in, then I go, okay, I can use that one, you know. Uh, but it's it's very hard to rhyme cast after a while. Right. I, I agree. What, what can I do with this word? Telephone line, yeah. Oh, oh. Randy's hard. Randy's doing another electric light over your song. See, I always associate that song with Billy Madison uh, because that's the uh, the song that uh, Steve Buscemi is listening to. Uh, oh, such a classic scene when he calls him and apologizes for picking him in high school. <laughs> so every time I think of someone crazy, I kind of sing "Telephone Line" to myself. And and you put on the lipstick too. And the lipstick, I <laughs> name out the people to that, kill. That gets a, that gets a little crazy, but you know, hey, I'm not here to judge. Yeah. Chris we, got blue, we got blue mat. What I do? Nothing. I said you're quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I mean, I, I've, I've been trying to be quiet while I fix my shit. Um, oh. I'm, I'm having the worst problems connecting my AirPods to my new Windows PC. Oh, it's because it's not a Mac. It's classic. Well, I mean, Mac it's PC it's a Bluetooth already. headset, so it shouldn't be a problem. But for whatever reason, I'm having. It just keeps cutting in and out, so I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna put these." On. I went like three oh, months, and I, just, I I stopped using them because I couldn't get them to work. And finally, I just said, "I just said, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make these work." There you go. So and at, a week later, they worked. Nice. So I, I gotta put these big old honking headphones on for the time being. Oh, it's a good look for it. It's what I wear. <laughs> yeah. So Jack, and, I noticed you, your background is. Uh, have you? I thought it was a little, I thought it was a little suggestive when I first saw it. I was like, you know, the banana, banana is banana, strategically placed with his finger pointing at a certain area, like expecting the banana to fall out. Could have been an accident. <laughs> I don't know. I I actually started the fifth episode today and couldn't watch it because 
had a grand grandkid. Got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, not, not a show not, for the grandkids. Not, not at all no. for the little kids. Yeah. Yeah, they kept coming over. I said, "All right, I'll play." So three of us have finished Fallout, right? I I gotta say, if you guys, all you had to do to get me to watch it says, "Okay, there's it's nuclear bomb and into the world." Yeah, and, and, that's, I I love that job. I love that. That's what I love. And I there's love no translation. The you don't have to read any any translation, which is be, which is even better. But no, I just I that's what I love to watch. Yeah, and well, uh, I... it it's it's bizarre. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on that I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how Lucy. What's her her brother's name? Norm. Norm. How I, oh. are they really related? Yeah. Yeah. They don't look anything alike. They don't. They don't that's, look. That's just mean, Jack. I'm not sure. every. How, not every genetics are equal. I know that that Norm is hot. But he's smart. And Lucy's not. And she's hot. You know, not everyone, you know, everyone gets a skill. But she's pretty smart too. Well, she's naive though. Yeah, exactly. And that, that's kind of what I was getting. Rule. That's Okey what I was dokey. gonna get Okey to dokey. with with when it comes to Do you want to have sex? Right. Do you, oh my god. <laughs> and then this then that idiot that just looked at like yet? I'm a knight. Like, shut up. Are you gonna make my cock throw up? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I, you got you, wait, wait, you guys are further than I'm I'm at. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was way like, go, way to go, guys. When Jack said like, episode wait. five, I was like, I don't think that scene's happened just no. yet. No, I'm not giving anything away. Me, no, um, no, but it's really funny. And it is once funny. you get to it, yeah, and it's, got, it's got a lot. It's got a lot of great actors in it. it uh, William it's Goggins good is good. He's good in everything. He's Walton good. Goggins. Walter Goggins. Mm-hmm. Walton. Walton. William. Walton. Walton. What? Yeah. Why do I always call him William? I don't know. Maybe you could change know. his name for me. Why, 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 William? Yeah, Walton you know, so uh, without giving anything away, um, I will say, you know, the show kind of takes a turn, uh, it, ish of a kind of like a turn a little bit, I guess you could say, in the last couple of episodes. Yeah. When you're getting some like mm-hmm. really background history of, of Vault Tech, which is interesting because the game doesn't necessarily dive into it. Right. In oh. that sense, right? I mean, there are. You know, there are loose references in the game to what could be happening based upon like documents you find or Mm -hmm. computer terminals. If you sit there and read everything, which nobody does. Right. (laughs) Um, That's what I kind of read uh, just a little line today about how in the game it's never fully explained who drops the bomb or who starts the bomb. Uh, Oh, okay. And in this series, it doesn't blatantly say who did it but it's heavily implied correct who started it you know correct right. you're kind of like oh okay until um, we get season two and then they pull back another curtain it's yeah, gonna, gonna, gonna be the vegas yeah they've oh yeah already, they've, they've already vegas. renewed it for another oh, really? season yeah. yep it was so pretty there, much there, there within, is um within a week of its release, and this this it's really not much a spoiler jack um it's really they, not I, so i'll, they, take, um, I'll take your word for it yeah, so there there was a game called um, in between Fallout Three and Fallout Four uh, that came out called Fallout New Vegas. That so that's not a number, right? <laughs> Sorry, um, but he is actually, um, or it is actually the game takes place in in Las Vegas, and oh, it's kind of like the same wastelandish type of thing. Um, it's really really good. Like it's a it's a great game. It's actually one of my favorite ones of all the of all the Fallout's. Um, and they they kind of hint it towards it. Yeah. Uh, Matt Case says I hate uh, Squire Knight guy. He reminds me of Elvin, the oldest Cosby's daughter's husband. That's who I thought it was. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. He does. He does remind he, you. That he guy. reminds me of. Uh, he does very Lincoln, well. For crying no, out loud. A, yeah. Yeah. And I'll, and yeah. the older woman is 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 uh, uh well, she, she played Kizzy on Roots. Mm. Oh, is that right? Yes. Well, way back in the seventies. What I was going to say, just talking about Fallout in general, is that you know I I kind of had no interest in watching it uh, because Last of Us just came out and it's such a good video right. game that I was like, Fan you know, I, I can't totally. see mm-hmm. them topping Last of Us. And <laughs> and then Chris watched it and then recommended it, so I was like, okay, if Chris likes it, I'll give it a shot. And I was pleasantly surprised at how good Fallout was. But what I like in the difference between last of us and fallout is in last of us is a traditional like protector slash student role of like two characters r- roaming Leslie through Adams, yes, the mountainous right. hills of massachusetts and uh but you know this one even though it's one 
great story. You have four very separate characters, yes. and four separate different arcs, you know? And yeah. I was, the more I've thought about it, the more I'm like, yeah, like, so Lucy's the fish out of water story, right. which everybody right. can relate to because it's like, this is a whole brand new world for us. And then you get Maximus who like uh, Matt just said, Matt K just said, I could not stand him in the first few episodes because he is kind of like this naive, just idiot in a way. And, but right. as his arc starts to go along, he's really growing on me, even though he still does some stupid shit. Uh, <laughs> but he, he has a, a kind of a redemption kind of arc. Right. Of like it, I'm going to learn and I'm going to be, I, and I, I kind of like when someone said Finn a while ago, like from Star Wars, like right, I exactly. want his storyline, Matt, sorry, other Matt <laughs> said Finn. You're like, um, I want his story to be what Finn did not get, you know, right. in, in the Star Wars. Uh, well, I then, thought Matt K was talking about the person that's in thirty three. I'm not the squire. I'm not the squire. No, no, no. I, was, I was talking about the 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 guy that uh, the okay. I was confused. No, I, I was talking about the guy that thirty three with the other guy. Mm -hmm. where everything's so nice and you know. Oh, the guy, the guy, the guard, the door guard. Oh, no, right. no, he, he's he's one of the leader t t with Leslie Uggams and uh, the other guy with the, the, the bigger neck guy. brace. Or the neck yeah. brace. The guy from... No, not the, not the other guy. The guy I thought, with the that's I, thought, I, I thought it was that actor at first. Yeah, the guy oh. from Severance. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, um, and then, oh, just sorry, uh -huh. one second. Yeah, yeah, and no, then, cool. Then you have, the, you have the ghoul, which I think is also an extremely important character because sure. he is representing the world that we do know like us as an audience is like, he's coming from this world in the past and he's got right. the knowledge to come along into this new world. And he has like the, the vengeance arc, which I really like because he's looking for, even though he's introduced as a villain, he's kind of got the justice arc in a way. Yeah. Mm. You like him. Like you, you like, you, you, you yeah. like him. He's, he's a bad guy that you want to win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then yeah. lastly, what Jack's saying with Norm, Norm has the, the, the discovery arc of like you know i'm the mystery the mm -hmm. the unveiling of the world beneath the world he's the hot and, one. yeah yeah and and so like that's what i'm saying that's what keeps it intriguing is he's, you have four really great characters and four great arcs all he's almost the like time. the player in a way yeah yeah like like it's like some right. kind of like but yeah you're right he is kind of working on another it's interesting because they don't introduce him you know in the first at least I don't remember, Steve. but like yeah, the, but the not, other yeah. the other three characters all get a title card, which that's what reminded me of the good, the bad, and the ugly is, is this like right. boom, boom, you know, it's like you know, it's like this is this person, this is this person, you know, and with the ghoul be representing like this ugly side of of humanity and what what, but the time the time storyline with him is is really great, which Jack is yet to get into, and I don't want to spoil. Like I said any the first couple episodes, so, I'm like going. It starts out. Okay, I go. Okay, what's going on here? You got you got uh, a guy at a birthday party. He's obviously somebody who, at one point, right. was famous and stuff like that. And you're like going on, and then you st start seeing them watching the news, you know, nuclear war and all that stuff. And I'm like going, okay, this is getting interesting. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, what, you know what? What's interesting about that too is you know. From what you see later in later episodes, Jack, and I won't spoil you, but you know, there's clearly another major event happens in his life before the bombs go off. Um, in that, you know, he didn't want to do the thumbs up, you know, he didn't, you mm -hmm, know, and, and, right. and 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 you know, you see his daughter, but you don't see his wife, and so you're like, something else has Something's happened going on that's right. major, you know, that right? Well, um. Jack, I like uh, and I like and I like the music too. Yeah, so the music, yeah, the so, music fits the sh fits the show. You know what? It's funny mm -hmm. you mention that too. I, I love that too because you know when you play the games, like you hear this music all the time when you're playing the game, right? So well, that's the music in the, in the, the game. game. The, yeah, it is. Yeah, so in like you have like uh, in the game you have a pit boy, you know the thing that she wears in her mm -hmm. arm or whatever, and they it has a radio on it. You can either opt to turn it off or keep it on, and they have like Wasteland Radio. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, like all the, the old Billy, uh, holiday music and the ink spots, um, ink spots. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. 
That was yeah. my immediate thought. I've always liked mm-hmm. the Ink Spots. It's like right. every episode seemed to have an Ink Spots song. I was like, man, yeah. like, in Sp- Ink Spots music's just going to go through the roof. <laughs> Even though so it's funny. It's funny to hear it like, because I, I probably invested so many hours into those games. You know, back in the day, I, was, I say back in the day, it was like ten years ago, right? Um, but uh, yeah, it's like it's like I those 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 songs are in my head. Like I sing along with them when I hear them, and I've been walking around, you know. I've been walking around at work, just kind of like singing along. I don't want to set the world on fire. And like, everyone's like, dude, you got to stop watching Fallout. And I'm like, I know, I know. I'm sorry. This song do, do, do. But uh, yeah, that that's a song you got to bring to the show is uh, so, <laughs> I don't want to set the world on fire, but I don't think you can like, do it. I just want to listen to the ramble. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. I think we just have um, a request now. Yeah. But uh the yeah, so the cool thing, the cool thing about what you just mentioned, like Matt, you you said that, you know, what's his name down in the in the in the, uh, the vault is kind of like the player, right? The, mm-hmm, the person yeah. you're, you're playing with, mm-hmm. because when you're playing the game, um, I'll, I mean, I know specifically with Fallout Four, right? The game kind of starts. It's interesting, right? So the game kind of starts off in that that um, I think it's technically twenty one something or other. It's not nineteen fifty. But it's like a technologically advanced, but so like almost designed specific to like the 1950s, that kind of like motif. You start off in the pre apocalypse and then mm-hmm. you wake up in the vault. And then you're when you're waking up in the vault, you're really figuring out what the fuck is going on. So kind of like what Jack was saying, like you kind of have those 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 like phases of like, what is this world all about? Because you're waking up in this vault Um and then you emerge into the wasteland and like they've literally treated the game or i'm sorry the tv show just like the game and it's actually really impressive of how they've been able to adapt it to the big screen and and be honest i I didn't know the robots there was a person inside it oh oh yeah the um the the, the brotherhood of steel mm, until Mm -hmm. i saw uh what's his name uh michael rapaport yeah well he you didn't actually ever get to see him did you no you do yeah yeah Yeah, you're right you do you do takes his helmet off that's right um, he's on he's on bearable, but you get to see it. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and it's what's like, really oh, interesting yes. is that that um the robot, the uh you can see the robots floating around, you know, the the um I forgot what they're called. Mr. Whatever. In one of the episodes, oh, yeah, you got yeah. you get mm-hmm. to go back. He goes it's 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 with Walton Goggins' characters having right. drinks with his buddy. Right. And mm-hmm. Like, how how are you gonna monetize this whole thing? He's like, Oh, they gave me like eighty thousand dollars for my voice, right? Yeah. But that's the actual voice of the robots in the game, which yeah. is interesting. Oh right? you no, know, it's 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 actually that actor. I, I, I'm 99.9 percent sure because it sounds Matt, exactly. Is, I didn't look it up. His, isn't his name Matt Wood? I think um, I don't, I don't I know what his name is. Else. I knew his I knew his voice. I he's like, immediately I like, oh, Cogsworth he's, is his, is the name of the robot, Cogsworth in, in the game. Um mm. He's in a lot of British comedy shows yeah. that, I've, yeah. that I've watched. So, so like, he's, he's got it, such it a was great just, voice. It was just really cool that to kind of like see all that coming together. And like, there's there's all these little like these these head nods in like hat tips to the the play, folks who play the games, like um, like the new Coca Cola. I'm all, I'm all getting this back. because I don't play the game. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 fair enough. Um, but and like that super the super. Um, store or the super at like where they call this the supermarket place they go right. to um that's at, that is actually definitely like that i remember vividly <laughs> being in that supermarket in the game and having to battle the robot oh, from no. taking him over this, my body this dude so yeah yeah that's the guy yeah, yeah. that was the only i'm not sure if jack's at that episode or not yet but that was yeah, the only the supermarket yeah, I've, that's, that's, that was the only thing that slightly that's confused four. me is like why would he give her a finger if <laughs> he's just kind of you know, do also, maybe maybe that was to the the audience. Oh, well, I just thought that was all. I was like, why would you give somebody uh, I go, you know, perform surgery yeah. a few minutes later? Maybe it's just yeah, his basic programming or something, right? But, yeah, but well, um, yeah, you, you you learn you learn about the world in the same way that you learn about the world when you're playing the game, which is I think is actually very very cool. I'm glad that you have <laughs> the the gamer knowledge for this. I yeah. I remember playing this this with a friend of mine who had a system. Um, tell me, did you ever get the the set where you could actually use your your phone as the display thing? I did. Did not. you? Ever, okay. Oh. He did. He got wow. the one where it was just like like he puts your phone in there and it yeah, and then it turns it into yeah, the pit boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't do that. Um, 
but there's all these like really cool head nods like in the, in the in like the first episode when she's talking about like she's like recording herself as like the 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 you know the maiden who's being offered up for marriage she's like talking mm-hmm. about her skills and all this stuff that is all from the game like like the skill sets that you have it's it's actually called it's an acronym that's called special about the guy like, wiping himself off after sex with the curtain? oh my gosh the curtain. Is, that, is that part of the game that was so that, that, that is part of the game. like that was like a first thing when when you see mm. them open the, the door and then all of them are all stringy hair and oily i was like oh yeah something's not right here like, mm. i didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't I, I i i i was like going okay what's I, what's going i go when he, when he did that i was like going i don't know about the you know the raiders and stuff i'm like going there's something off about this guy then he had all those <laughs> scars and stuff oh yeah. yeah and i'm like going okay something's not something's not right here something's not right here i didn't know what because and then all of a sudden all hell breaks loose and you're like going and for those listening if if you've been spoiled on all of this you can there's so much to enjoy with this this show it's, it's, re- it's really not going to ruin it for you because yeah. you know the, the one thing that's really interesting and i, I think it's they, they did a really good job of like bringing it from the game to the to this world in the show too is that when in the show when there ever there is like some type of um like violent act or gore or Something that mm-hmm. would normally be censored on normal television mm-hmm. is very normal to that world, right? Right. When Benjamin Linus lost his leg, it was like you're like, oh, cool, yeah. Here, put this thing on your leg. It's gonna saw it off, and like blood's gonna go over. Right. But you'll be fine. And no, and everyone was fine with it. And like to the to the whole idea of like, oh, do you want to have sex? Oh no, you want to make my cock explode? Look, right. like, like what? <laughs> Who are you, spoiling, are you spoiling me? Again? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you're, 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 but like, but all these things that happen are just. So I like how like, I was just trying to say, like, hey, you can still watch it. You, we haven't yeah. spoiled you on anything. And Jack's over here, like, don't spoil yeah. me on anything. Else. All, all these things are just so arbitrary in this world. That's just this post-apocalyptic world, and it's funny because the game treats it them. It seems as like trivial. a place I want to hang out. I mean, it, the game treats them as similarly as trivial. So it's like all these things that if anything, these things occurred in real life to us, it'd be like, holy shit. Like I'm going to start stocking up on bottle caps. Like had no, no, no problem. <laughs> no problem carrying around a severed head. Like it was like, it was as if that was a normal thing. And can, I mean? can I ask one, can I ask one question? This might be a little spoilers to people who haven't sure. seen it in the fourth episode. He, he, he gets that, uh, Walt, Walton Goggins gets, he's a, he's a ghoul, right? Right. So he needs the, the lice, you know, the, he starts putting in his hat and said it's taken the whole box. I know. I thought that was weird too. Yeah. <laughs> I go, why would you, why would you, uh, I don't get it. Didn't make yeah. sense to me. But anyway, I, I don't want to spoil thinking, anybody else. I don't want to spoil it. He probably was just thinking in the moment, you know, cause he probably yeah. never had that much on hand. You know, yeah, but like, it's oh, a box. God. It's stored in a box. Just close the box. Take the box. Right. Is that where you're at, Jack? No, I finished that episode. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, so you I'm didn't at, see, you didn't see like the next, the next in the next, next episode. episode? I, I've seen, uh, I've seen like ten, maybe ten to twelve minutes of the fifth episode. Okay, okay, and that's where <laughs> sets yeah. him free. Sets him free. Got it. If it'll set you free. Yeah. Will Fry well, telling us his. Uh, um, before I get to fall, I have to at least have. At least another month of Apple shows left, yeah, and then I'm going right, to binge sure. Better Call Saul. Well, we finish breaking, which is good. Uh, Definitely. Good. I, well, yeah, I, I mean, I if, if you need a palate cleanser, I mean, if you need a palate cleanser, Fallout is a quick um, turnaround for you. Like I would say, before getting into Better Call Saul, because that's an investment. Like definitely watch Fallout because you'll be able to get into that and get through it probably within less than a week. Yeah, I know that. I know that we also just saw Civil War. Uh, what, I haven't seen it yet. Sunday, Will. But it was just another opinion. If we wanted to get a, a listener, oh, opinion. Will, did you like they Civil thought. War? Because oh, we right. know we know Nick did not like it. I did not like it. Yeah, I mean, it's not. It has very good visuals. You know, it's just to me, it's just not. It's well, not that great. Um, it's uh, it's gonna happen. Another. Uh, yes, he uh, saw Civil oh, War on Tuesday. Okay. We got confirmation, guys. Nice. We to barely lead there, but. And while we're waiting for Will's uh, review, yeah. dude, I got weed peanut butter cups. Like, oh, I thought we were going to take a great commercial break. break. We're living. Yeah, exactly. Commercial break for our sponsor, weed peanut butter weed, cups. Weed peanut butter cups. Are they good? They're fucking delicious. This sounds um, delicious. Yeah. And they're definitely not too? large, but like, they're. Oh, oh nice. How many milligrams per bite? 
Uh, five. Oh, huh. so you need well, at least four. I think I'm four. Take G. Will Fry gave it a seven out of ten. Goo, Goo enough. enough. Goo enough. Goo I enough. love that. No, I think it's could, the D's left have, off for in purpose. Goo enough. Goo enough. <laughs> could have been better. So that's, that's what they what also said your... about your comment. Goo enough. <laughs> <laughs> But he also said I'd see it again. So, so um, Nick said he hated it. He well, I didn't say it I, I, mean, I just no. I, I gave it a six six point five. So he's not too much ahead of me. Uh, but his seven said he'd see it again. Would you go see, see it again? again? No, I wouldn't pay to see it again. I just okay. can't stand what's her name. The uh, the lead, Kirsten Dunst. Yeah. Oh God, she drives oh. me. I, I I I kind of agree with that. That it, they probably should have. They probably miscast her. Uh, I like how they're apo- she's apologizing for her husband. I guess plays a a crappy guy. I've seen it's previews. A, it's a small. It's a small role. It's one. Yeah, but she oh. says okay, he just did he, us. He, he just did us a favor. Okay, <laughs> it's really not that way. <laughs> but also, like, <laughs> you mean he's you an s- actor? Have you seen him on Breaking Bad? Because he seems like a horrible piece of shit. Okay, on I saw him on Friday. Wait, who's Night. that? I've. On breaking I, from Breaking Bad, yeah. Who's he on Breaking Bad? He's um, a crazy guy, Todd. Todd, yes, Todd. Mm-hmm. He oh, comes I saw him in the fr- fifth season. Yeah, yeah. I saw him in Friday Night Lights, and he was just a gentle guy, just, just a kind of a nerd guy, right? It ends up going uh, out with the hot girl. The no, girl uh, from, the girl from, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, from, I'm uh, from uh, Orville. He was he was awful in uh, oh, in Black yeah. Mirror, too, yeah. He's, I mean, he's he, he was also he was in also in the you know the last uh, Scorsese I didn't realize film. He was in Orville. You know, Flowers of the Child Moon. He was yes, in that. Yes. He was in. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, that's where him and his wife met. Was in um, uh, Fargo, season Fargo. two. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, he, was Fra- ni- he was a nice. Landry. Uh, Landry. That's what it was. Landry. Yeah. He was uh, the uh, the quarterback's friend. Will most most of the cast always uh, the quarterback's friend, never the he, bride. He's kind of doing a Christopher Nolan thing. Like he uh, cast people that have been in his previous projects. So not only was um, I'm not sure about the little girl being in Devs, but the uh, yes. the other reporter that was the TV reporter that you know, has the helmet on in the last few scenes there, uh, she was also in Devs. She's the main character in Devs. And then of course you have uh, uh, have I seen Devs? I Devs is that. such a Devs, good show. Devs is mm-hmm. awesome, Jack. It's a yeah. season, Either or you've talked about it. We've, t- We've we talked, talked about all it. three of us have yeah. seen it for sure. Yeah, Devs has been around for a while, so I'm, I mean, yeah. I remember that yeah. came out right at the beginning, and I was watching that. In, um, is what's it on, Dave? Uh, uh FX, you or can Hulu? find this pretty easily. Yeah, I yeah. think it's on Hulu. Yeah, have I seen it's just, it? It's just a one season standalone show, but you know it what stars- show that you should finish and you should do it while you're, you're awake and cognizant is Shogun. I will. Um, I need to watch. So it. Talking, I was talking but about I got, severed I got heads. Fallout. So, um, <laughs> the last three no, episodes no, of Shogun, so good. So good. Yeah, it to me like that show. It was it was is as it as close good? to perfection as as you can get with a TV show. Is it show, as good so. as us taking and an adaptation of a? No, the, yeah, okay, now we take a commercial break. Go ahead. <laughs> is it as good as us taking a commercial break? Finish, Matt. Oh no! Oh, now I'm done. You no, know, finish Shogun. To... Yeah, I finished Shogun. It was it was brilliant. So smashing. Loved it. So yes. and uh I think that um you know a lot of people make the, the Game of Thrones comparison. I think um even with the way that kind of those seasons would be structured where the penultimate episode would have like m- maybe like the most like intense moments whereas like the 10th episode is like falling action and, and it's still satisfying yeah so I, but it's a lot, but it's how it lot, lands so i know i saw a lot of people on twitter saying i wish it wasn't over yeah yeah for I'm, sure that's a, that's a sign of a good show it for is sure. and you know that's why i think when we first started talking about it that i had been reading that from the director you know saying that no this they stick to the book and that's it that's all they're doing mm. uh and i think it's because whoever was asking that question it, it clearly had seen the whole season and you do you kind of want more because there is yeah. definitely you could definitely continue on with it but it's done right it's one and it's done, done. Right? it's one yeah. and done but yeah like, i agree with matt like the ninth episode is probably the the peak uh and the tenth is is just as good it's just a different it it sticks the landing it, it but the it's, landing, yeah. you're, you're not you're not going into it thinking like 
it's just going to be this this continual like um you know but the 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 whole story is just i I just thought they did a brilliant job and it and then you know yes there's some translation there is a a dub version of course there's still some some japanese has to be because having a translator in the show is an important part but if you're wanting the dub does he bet the translation does he bet does he gamble no i just there's some key scenes in which they have to show the actual it's a baseball i was talking about okay okay thanks sure whatever (laughs) (laughs) it's 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 a great show though really top acting and um i i I, I, I loved it it. i loved it so much that i was listening to the official the official podcast just through hulu like like i didn't even go to my local podcast kind of thing and subscribe to it i just was popping it on and they have a lot of like they give a lot of the historical context so if you're wanting stuff. more that's the second that's a good, best that's good, get. good idea so the problem is i i've been watching uh i finished manhunt uh uh they uh booth got caught got killed sorry he, Nick. he got <laughs> hunted uh <laughs> I because I, I I this I was watching the show. I go, you know, this is a show where Nick probably really like. Would did you see Manhunt? I watched the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. I you probably you probably love you probably love the first episode. The first episode, yeah, Pete. But you think you think the first Peaked. episode is probably great because it, you know Lincoln dies. Um, no, I. I but after felt... that, it's like okay, we're gonna chase after a guy with a broken leg. Is, is that fair? I I just I just didn't. I mean, it's okay. I gave it like a seven, you know, seven point two somewhere in there. Like it's. It's definitely worth a watch if you have nothing else to watch. I didn't know they just it, they just dumped his body in them. Yeah, they just yeah they didn't care. They wanted him to have. Uh, well, it made sense. It's like yeah. oh, I don't want to be uh, worship. I want to be uh, you know. Wait, where did they dump his body? They didn't. They just we, secret 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 place because they didn't yeah, want we, anyone to worship where he. Died. Oh, yeah, you know? my gosh. So we don't. We, I never knew that. I never I knew that. Was not either. taught in history class that. And all those Lincoln movies I've seen, they never said that Booth was just, you know. It's got its moments that are good, but then a lot of it just is kind of slow and draggy. Again, I, I know you don't like the part where the the, the Confederacy is coming back all beaten up. And I, I, I get that. I get that would be disheartening. But uh, <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was I thought, I thought it was pretty good. It, the, big, the beginning was better. It was intense. And I think it kind of carried on a little too long. Yeah. I mean, Andrew Johnson is... is a, you can see why he wasn't a very good president. You know, I, it's funny. Like I, I agree that he, he wasn't a great president, but um, I, I understand it's all you know, like, like with everything in history, it's all in you know because he was a uneducated, he educated himself. He was a self educated guy, yeah, and he gosh, felt gosh. like there's lots of people throughout history, like James Brown is one of those people. Like he felt that anyone can do it if they have enough determination, and so he was against a lot of stuff because he felt why should we help anyone you know uh, why should we help anyone in the south you know like not just blacks it was everybody like you know why should we spend money to help them uh they can do it themselves and it was just that's just the way he thought and and, and but you know it was a you could see it from republicans at the point of view as well though is like you know if you do that then you're gonna have a lot of pissed off uneducated poor people that will just revolt against us again and it's just so it's it's a way of you know how you look at it. Yeah, I just I wasn't a fan of Johnson. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm not a friend of any president, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any. <laughs> but you like the dead ones, right? You like the ones that get shot. Those <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, yeah. no. <laughs> actually, no, actually, you know, I, for I, those I, I, listening, some jury is in, still in a out. Bunker, we're mm-hmm. like, you know, they're being monitoring our communications. Um, <laughs> like Jack's Jack- views do not yeah. reflect all of those on the Ramble cast. And Notice that my screen has house. been blue this whole time. I, I yeah. simply asked Nick a question. I didn't. I did I mean, not. I, I, did don't not I did Jay, not. Say. Jay pegged me pretty well uh, a few years back as a contrarian, which I tend to. Wait, be. wait, 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 wait. Thank you for Jay. completing that sentence, Jay. by the way. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he really fucking pegged me pretty uh, good. I, okay. I, 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 I knew that. The I said it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tell me it was a wooden one. Uh, oh, watch out for the splinters. Uh, okay. okay. I, def- I definitely like to think, you know, what, yeah, we're going what, to what, 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 what would the world have been like if Kennedy hadn't have been killed? You know, like, hey, you know, there's, you know? there's things to yeah. that you and, or, well, we, probably Lincoln too. We, probably, we probably wouldn't have had a Nixon. 
Mm. And actually, That's, Nixon Nixon wasn't a terrible president. He just did terrible things. Well, yeah, I mean, Nixon was great on world politics. He was terrible at domestic, uh, okay. and that that was his problem. Uh, I wouldn't have pegged him for that. I wouldn't have pegged Nixon either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you had. You know, I wouldn't uh, have gotten pegged for it either. Yeah. Jack, you should watch. Um, I, I've been watching this documentary series on um, Netflix called uh, Turning Point, and I don't know how I oh, found I, I, it. I, yeah, I want. I, been meaning to watch Wait, is that, that, is that crazy alt-right bullshit no that's that's the no no turning uh i know what you mean that's, though. that's i got a, pegged uh no it's called <laughs> turning point uh the bomb and the cold war is the the oh. under title and it's kind of a history of russia from the bolshevik revolution to present and really what they're trying to do is frame how putin came to power but they're doing it through the entire core cold war up to the present day interesting it's, it's an interesting documentary series i've, I've enjoyed it so far yeah sp- speaking of um what ifs mm. and how these important what ifs i actually learned something new today i didn't know this did you know who the original casting for the terminator was hmm was no i don't think so it was it was me um because originally cameron uh yeah boy, cameron fucking- he wanted he wanted a small guy because Arnold was originally supposed to be the protector. Arnold switched. Arnold was originally supposed to be cast as, as Kyle Reese. Reese as Reese, yeah. And then huh. the Terminator was going to be a small guy. It was uh, going to be OJ fucking Simpson. Was OJ? Oh wow, I Whoa, didn't know that. Wow, really? okay. Yeah. Until oh. um, I was watching it. Uh, I love TikTok. Please, Congress, don't take my TikTok does he, away. Does he, does he have any experience in killing? So he he had just come off of doing like um, like Conan. In all those movies, so he's he's becoming very he very popular. Him. Matt Trees, I didn't believe he was believable as a killer. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Um, and uh, he was worried that. Uh, oh no! Let me stop rewinding. OJ was so, in Conan, uh, uh, Conan the Barbarian. No, no Arnold was, Schwarzenegger. Was, Will Chamberlain was in Conan. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Okay, that's, my God, I knew he was. I knew he was in. <laughs> well, he he, he, he had just finished doing that, and so he was. He took this part as uh, Kyle Reese and he went and had lunch with um, James Cameron and he was talking about like, how passionate he was about how he should help, like help him figure out who's going to play the Terminator, blah, 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 how, how it should be, because he had just watched recently um, Westworld and like he was like noticing like how Yul Brenner's like acting chops were as a robot. And he's like, well, you got to make sure whoever does it does X, Y and Z, this and the other. And then apparently at the end of that lunch conversation or breakfast conversation, whatever it was, he was like, yeah, you have to play this role. Like, this <laughs> is actually you. So hmm. uh, OJ's out. <laughs> Could you imagine if Arnold hmm. Schwarzenegger did not have that lunch date with right. James Cameron and huh. OJ Simpson was going to be our Terminator? Wow, that would have been that would have sucked. Yeah. It, that's it's amazing to me just like how also, many movies also a weird like kind of race dynamic to set up for that movie yeah. you know so. well i mean at the time oj simpson was huge like sure huge and i mean as was uh arnold right and at first arnold was like i don't want to do it he goes he's mm-hmm. like there's like he has four lines throughout the entire movie this is gonna ruin my career Walk off and asshole. and then uh, I'll be back. And Cameron was like, "Listen, I'm gonna make you. We're we're gonna make this part be the biggest villain and the biggest hero at the same time. And you're gonna. This is gonna be it for you." That's so how it happened? So uh, he really he cra- really kind of sniped his career. <laughs> he really kind of strangled it. OJ uh, over that oh, one okay, out of the part. You know what I'm he saying? May stab them in the back. Yeah. yeah. He's a real cut up. But, uh, that's my lucky stabbing hat. I, you know, with really OJ, squeeze the juice out of that. Going to deal. OJ Simpson, he had uh, some guy came uh, was on Twitter and he said, I've had, I had a uh, non disclosure. I couldn't talk about this. OJ Simpson, when he was in college at USC, was assaulting women and beating them. Whoa. At oh, US, shit. At USC. Like you know, buried that, buried the story because it's mm. he's the goat. You know, he's can't imagine any goat. organization ever burying anything because but, they didn't want people hey, to know. You about know, it. you know what's also weird. I, I maybe it's just because it didn't happen during the internet age or whatever. Mm. But like, 
Uh, I don't remember ever hearing about this conspiracy theory in the past, but it's come up obviously since OJ's passed away and all this shit about um, how he could have potentially been covering for his son. Have you heard this I, that? Was, that was a theory out there, yeah. Maybe that's why the gloves are small. Yeah, right? And his son had just finished a shift at like his restaurant and had his fucking knives with them. Hmm. Yeah, that's been a that's been a theory from... That no the, wonder the, OJ couldn't find him. The theory, yeah. the theory was that OJ just well, stepped up golf. And, and went to jail for his kid. I don't see That's him doing wild. that. I don't oh, know. I can. Maybe, I can, maybe, maybe, I can oh, see. Oh, well, depends. not OJ. He's he's. I mean, he's just got a long history of, of violence. That the I mean, there's, a, there's a lot of parents. There's a lot of parents though that would do a lot of weird uh, shit I, for their kids. I get that, but I don't think OJ is that type of person. You know, if if Arnold. Didn't take that fucking lunch. <laughs> OJ would still be around. We probably wouldn't have to worry about the fucking Kardashians. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Fucking. OJ. Um, it's a crazy world. Speak. Speaking of crazy, crazy ass shit. There, there was like you know some of the stuff that you see on TikTok. Let's face it, it's exaggerated, blown out of proportion, and people just react to stuff again and again. You know, even when it's not true. But it's so, everything. It's everything. And it's everything. and so locally, this has affected a school of ours, which is now like making making ripples just through social media. But it's heard it from friend who, you know, and it's like there's nothing there that the school can legally do for this um, child or individual. And the story is being perpetuated as though this oh, child's been like violated or something like that yeah mm -hmm. so um or uh kissed i guess you know wasn't violated but you know but yes on the on the lips as a child so at this school but there's no no other student has seen this happen so and well, is this the story about that guy a friend of a teacher that came in and was mm -hmm. like kissing the kids in the head and shit? right yeah mm -hmm. that that's I that's exactly like that. it yeah well, you should, There's you should, you should, and you the the funny it. thing about the the conspiracy around it is like okay, they're they're saying like we'll call the school to get information. It's like they can't give information out about like was he kissing people? Was he actually kissing kid, kids on the no, head? Though? No, no. Okay, yeah. And no, oh, no, no he the, wasn't. No, I, I mean, the, I just I just heard like the like the the no, front end just, of that whole. You just thing. hear the, you just hear one bit, and it's from. A person, it's it's hearsay. It's not somebody that actually lives Whoa. in our in our actual town. It's like, oh, this is someone I know's child experienced this. Hmm, I didn't. I didn't. But at the school this. itself, they talked to all of those children. None of the other children like can can verify that this has ever happened. That's to them. crazy. Just, yeah. Yeah, and I, I and and they're mean, saying like, oh, the call. They're like, there. they're like, I. I they're like they're requesting people to call the school, call the school, what and the ask fuck? for. And it's like, okay, now you're going to tie up a school's phone line on something that is complete. That's crazy. Smoke, no fire. This is this is on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. And what's wild is like, I mean, I I didn't know that the back half of that story because I've only seen on social media the actual accusation. Uh, yeah, and that's crazy. My, my my wife just saw it because she found out about it through her mother who's just on facebook all the time and oh, fucking face and we're facebook. and we're not we're not uh my my wife will get it periodically on instagram for like like a weekend and then she'll delete it from her phone and she will be on it for a while because it's just like it's like she goes down the rabbit hole of just like you know looking through a bunch of reels and then she's she's off of it so she's very kind of off again so she wasn't aware of this until you know her mom calls her up and is like what's going on about all of it and then then my wife actually watches it and she's like okay legally there's there's nothing that they they've done everything that they can on this side um and some of this stuff is is pretty blown out of proportion it's funny so. that tiktok allows that because i've had videos taken off and you're like going for what but there's, like there's going, no yeah there's, I mean, no, re there's no research on this like and reporting you know stuff. it's just yeah. you know you get and and 
if something starts to go viral, somebody else replies to it because then they want their thing to go viral. And then it's just like, the well, I, did have, I did have one nonsense got taken so. up because somebody said he was being abused in the chat. He was the one doing the abusing. Uh, he never weighed into the chat. And it was like, and I, I wish I would have known. I would have, I would have stopped the chat, but it was like, I had like 140,000. It was just growing, growing, growing. And these, I was deleting it. A lot of them because it was it was Biden's and it was I don't oh know how got, I don't know how it got to Biden and Trump when it was, yeah. had nothing this story had nothing to do with the Biden exactly Trump, it just, it, but it was like I go yeah. what are we talking I go stop 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 mm -hmm. I I, I, I saw something fast enough. I saw something recently just our our local news you know they post stuff and and I just love wading into the comments just be like okay what what what's let's you know it'll, what's, it'll, what's it'll happening turn to Biden here and Trump in a second. It, it And it does. And you're like, okay, the local coffee shop that went out of business that's been here for 40 years, you know why they went out of business? It's like, there's a better one. <laughs> and then there's another better one that moved in just next door. Capitalism happened. They, they, they snuffed them out, you know? And so, well, that's just, the problem but, but it's like, oh, well, this is, this is Biden or this is, and it's like, it has nothing to do with it. There's, there's a, a better breakfast restaurant that went down the street and everybody goes there. And all of these comments are like, Oh, remember oh, when, God. remember when, and I'm telling you as a small business owner that ran a business with people like, Oh, remember when I went there 10 years ago, but I don't go there now. Yeah. Nobody's waiting on your fucking money to make this place happen. We've been doing it the whole time. Just like this coffee shop that everybody's lamenting. It's like, well, you're all remembering a time, but it's not right now. Well, because you stopped going there. Exactly. So, well, it's, and, and then things just naturally change too. Like, um, <clears throat> there's a sandwich place that I love in Knoxville, and I been eating sorry there to be for, so blue. Oh no, no, <laughs> you are blue. Yeah, uh, I've been eating there for thirty years. And, but, brother. You know, I'm gonna go blue too. <laughs> and like the last, <laughs> but the, like the last decade, every time I go. To that place it's just not as good and you go like what happened like why has the quality dropped off you know like mm -hmm. why is because you know it's one of those places that when you eat the sandwich or eat the fries or eat whatever you're like holy shit that's good and then now right. like, oh that's yeah, okay some cook went away or well, I think, you well, know the owner, just, the owner just the owner just lost the, the love of it could be the meat the quality it could be the bread mm -hmm. quality it could be i, like, I think i think know. it's more that they, they buy they're buying to keep in business they're buying less quality right yeah. stuff so it's like you know if they can't afford if you're a mom and pop you can't afford to compete with the the chain but even the chains like can't you know <laughs> it's because when <laughs> will fry says it's because you are sober when you go it's valid point and he yeah. knows exactly now. that could be it now that could be it. Could be, will. but uh, anyway well, it is what it is but then i was i wanted to talk i i, I was i was shocked by the news that harvey weinstein has Conviction was overturned. Over, uh, I read that I'm, hoping it was a rumor. I, you know, no, with everything I, that's going on in court right now, I, I, I'm not shocked at no. all. Like, I'm I mean, but like, that's what? why that's why victims don't come forward, right? I just, I go, okay, this guy's a piece of shit. We, mm -hmm. uh, we all know he's a piece of shit, right? But oh, there were too many people that were t talking bad about him, or whatever. That, what we're, guy goes, we're talking about Harvey Weinstein, right? Yeah, okay. there's, he had too many people, I guess, were at the trial. Because, I mean, there are other, like, Lord of the Rings. Rape, rape offenders that are on trial right now. But, but Wait, what? There's... <laughs> well, there's lots of them. No, no, Nick. <laughs> yeah. So, Love you know, Lord of the Rings? Yeah, like, you know, um, uh, Goth, Gothmore, it's, it's so, he's in two scenes. He's the really, really ugly orc. That he's goes in Lord like, of the Rings? He's not in Lord of the Rings, but they they, oh, they, made, uh, they, made, they made an orc to look exactly like Harvey Weinstein because huh. that's gosh. they didn't like him. So the guy wow. says like you know like uh, he, he like, stabs the guy. It's like you know, <sighs> you know he's got that yeah. deep throat. Ooh, that, that, that's Harvey. That's Harvey. That was pretty Weinstein. good, Nick. Yeah, he me. he. Time of the orc. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like, it's wow. It's like a hidden talent. They we're, they we're gonna lose an agent. From. Just saw that we're gonna lose Nick. Yeah. Later. Who's, gonna, who's gonna do the bad songs in the beginning? Ah, oh, mm. well, Chris, Chris was you just singing to... like what thirty minutes ago. He can, he can... Okay, I now I we want you to can. sing the song in the orc boy voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's not orc. It's it's uruk high. Um, 
du har du smyga på tunga. <laughs> I did have, I did have, I did want to. We're done talking about uh, Harvey. I did want to sure. talk. I, sure. I did have a complaint. Oh, oh shit! Right. Just about people in general. Oh, oh yeah. And what? Was going to Let's help. go. All Wait. right. So you know the the the, the complex Holy. next to it, they built they built these townhomes. You got ten and, minutes left, to bitch. And it's okay. it's all for dogs. It's all it, it, it's 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 a dog friendly compound. I mean, not compound. It's a dog friendly. All the townhomes. It's like got very few kids. Everyone has like three or four dogs. So it's they not got, like Fallout. No, they have like two dog. No, <laughs> they have like <laughs> two dog uh, parks. No, no, nothing for kids. Anyway, so these about two weeks ago, I see these people. Like, there's a what do they call it? Overflow where the rainwater goes into and then drips down through our backyard. Yeah, um, I saw them with two huskies and they got the brush out and they're you know you ever oh. seen a husky? The yeah, hair yeah, yeah. is everywhere. Oh, shit, mm-hmm. crazy. And I'm like going, okay, I can't believe they're doing. They that make too. tribbles. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe they're doing that in public. I didn't think anything of it. They didn't pick it up. They just oh, left it there. No. So where does it end up? In your yard? Like My yard. Like a tumbleweed. Like well, a guess tumbleweed. who had to clean it all up? Oh. I did. So I drive home the other day. I go, are you fucking kidding me? I didn't they, see They did it again? Time. Well, I'm assuming it was them because it was all over the place. And guess where it ended up? So now I'm looking for them. I'm one of those neighbors. Okay, uh, this, is yeah, I, this is what you do. This is what you do. You make a passive aggressive sign and put it right where they always brush their dog. Just you know, it, throw it back in their yard. <laughs> I don't know where they live. Oh, well, they, but they walk by your yard yeah, to do it, right? Yeah, right? No, they well, no, they. I, I don't know where. I don't. I don't. They don't. You they just. Don't have you to, just. They don't have. I'm. I, we're the last house, and mm-hmm. then it's the comp. It's the yeah. townhomes, and so I'm like going, and so when the wind blows, I got these tumbleweeds of hair. I'm like going, son of a fucking. I go, obviously they don't want to do it in front of their townhome, right? Mm-hmm. Because it makes a mess. So th- I, I am going to say so. I said, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you yeah. go up all the way to the end of the street so the hair doesn't blow into my? I go. Who do you think's cleaning it up? This guy. Yeah. Anyway, I just I, I can't believe. I, Cindy hair balls, at me. man. She, Cindy's just looking at me, going, "When are you going to accept it?" That's how people are. I, go, I don't want to. Ex- I don't want to accept I, that. I go. It just it just drives me fucking crazy. That people that would drive just, me. Nuts. I, I'd go full yeah. Karen, Jack. You know, and find I, out exactly I, where they live. There's 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 a person that I see walk their two dogs like all around the neighborhood. And fortunately, our our yard where we kind of sit up higher, so they can't allow the dogs to go into our our yard. But they just let them wander shit in other people's yards and just. They don't pick it up. We get that. You we know. get that too. I go. I don't have. I don't have I, a dog. I I take the little baggie with my dog as I go for a walk. I pick it up, and there's plenty of designated trash cans around the city, and you carry that dog shit like a man or a woman. It doesn't matter because you carry you know, the fucking you, shit of the pet. You know what people do it uh, in our neighborhood? They they wrap the they, they wrap poop, it in the poop and, and then they, they just throw it on the street. They, they just like chuck going, the shit in the street. I'm like, in, or the in the bag. Yeah, yeah in the bag. Why, just, why the fuck would you do that? I would call those shit, shit. Chuckers. And the, <laughs> the funny thing is, is the the t- townhomes, they have bags and trash cans for you to do that. And our neighborhood has bags and trash cans for you to put the shit. I go, why do people just leave? It's, it's I don't know what's worse. The big pile of shit mm. from the dog that wasn't cleaned up. Why would you yeah. do so that? Picking up the shit and destroying it on the ground. That's what drove me nuts about moving here. Uh, in that. Someone explained it to me, and I, I hope it's true. But like I, when you're doing like the local trails around here, uh, mm-hmm. they're very dog friendly. Is that you would you'd see these little twisty tie bags just full of shit on the hiking trail, and I'd be like, "What the fuck?" And then someone goes, "Oh, it's because they're going up the trail, and they'll pick it up on the way back down." I go, "Well, how sure. do you know? Right? How do you know? Yeah, I you have know? faith and, in humanity. Yeah, I, I don't. And so I believe, it was just like, I believe yeah. in the shit takers." And then there's us that are like, no, they're just shit shuckers. That does not to my dog. <laughs> it's uh, it's just I just I just you know you want to have a dog. Ultimately, people it, have there's to a responsibility in having pets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and your yeah, job is sure. to take care of your fucking pet. And the bigger the pet, the bigger the shit. So exactly. you know and what? These, these people you have gotta carry that huge shit. fucking dogs. I think we, we, I think the Beatles wrote a song about it. We were walking by this one. Cindy and I were going on a walk. Before Martha she fell down the stairs. <laughs> and this guy had three like pit bulls and he's like holding them like this. And she, and we kind of like, and she, he goes, Oh, you don't have to worry about my dogs. And then he goes, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not 
uh, I'm a fan of big dogs. So, yeah, he's got three pit bulls. Arr, you don't have to worry about my dogs. He's got them on huge yeah. ropes. I go, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> sure, bud. I remember also, that when my leg is ripped off. I don't want your dog slobber on me, okay? Yeah. So, you know what? Maybe you just keep them on your side. So, yeah. But yeah. There is a video, uh, Jack. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it or not. I've only seen it a couple times, but. I can see cool. Jack doing it. And it's, it's where like the, it does caption it before it starts is like, so my neighbor's dog always shits in my yard and not in his yard. And so like, you see him with a bag just full of this dog shit and he's just <laughs> picking it up in his rubber gloves and smearing it all over the dude's door. What? And then wow. like and then jamming it in the little mail slot too. And you're like, oh here's your wow. shit back. You know? <laughs> like, Fucking savage. Yeah. Wow. Uh, hmm. He just Man. ain't had enough of it. That's a shit giver. And I know my neighbor, his, they, they let their dogs a couple of times. Shit, and, and one time I walked out as they're doing, I'll, I'll clean that up. I go, sure. Okay, I'm not worried, but he wouldn't have done it if he didn't see me. Right. He's a good guy, but I, I, I know he wouldn't have cleaned it up if, cause I, I know it's his dog shit in my fucking yard. Anyway, we have any emails? Um, yes, we do. We have oh. one. Um, I did want to mention real quickly though, if you haven't watched Started watching A Gentleman in Moscow. Please do. It is a very good show. Um, I did I've watch, looked at that. I've looked it, at I that. can't keep up on all these shows. It's on either show, if you have Paramount Plus or Showtime, you can watch it. It's very okay. Good. Paramount it's Plus. Yeah, I have Paramount Plus. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, I did watch Steve with about the Martin Martin Steve Martin. Oh. I enjoyed it, but it was not what I was expecting. Was, I haven't finished the second half yet. Okay. I just felt it was like I didn't know like a lot of comedians. You kind of it's a little bit well, down. Well, it's more it's, of it's more of a, it's more about his uh, his life. I mean, it is, but like I just was expecting him to laugh a lot more than you know. I was like, man, this is kind of sad. Uh, it was it was it was more of a, it was it was a uh, well again it's about his life. He's not anyway. I don't want to spoil people. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like, I enjoyed it. I like seeing it, but it was just like, oh, it just wasn't what I was expecting it to be. And I did have a complaint about my wife. Oh, one more oh, fucking complaint? Yeah. God, it's like two episodes We're, in a row. We have on women. She starts complaint. watching the re- she starts a rewatch of the West Wing. She gets to a part in season one. I go, oh, I really like less the story. Three minutes left in this I will watch I will watch it with you. I will watch it with you. She goes, okay, so we watch like three episodes and she goes, okay. The next day I go, wait, are you watching the West Wing? She goes, Oh yeah, I have like three or four episodes. Ahead. I go, oh, mm-hmm. so we're just I'm just done with it. She goes, yeah. well, you can go. I go, no, I'm I'm good. Anyway, you can go take real. care of yourself. Yeah, exactly. Thirty five <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm Chris's saying. eyes, Chris's eyes on that. Hey, um, <laughs> one other thing to mention before you get to this this email, um, and I, I for whatever reason I I forget this until every time it happens at the same time every year, but you know. Chris and I, our, our sons are just one day apart. So um, my mm. son's birthday is on the 23rd and your son's birthday is on the 23rd. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So I saw, I saw you posted about your son and I was like, yeah, no, sh- no shit. That's right. And that's yeah, right. so uh, yeah, it's to crazy, celebrate our, our kids. So how old is your son birthdays. now? 14. Oh, so, gosh. Yeah. You know, that's, it's crazy because he, he's now decided that he, he either wants to be an, a pilot or an aerospace engineer. And um, so, so, with aviation. so something to do with aviation. And he's, he's been, he it was, it was kind of like, I didn't see the signs before, but now it's like all like, Oh, you know, and that's awesome. My, but as a dad, you're also like, ah, just stay on the ground, buddy. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, you just can't help but worry. Yeah. So, but I told him, I, I was like, I'm not going to stand in your way. I was like, well, on my end, it's uh, it's just a matter of which Spider-Man game I'll let him download onto the iPad. Um, <laughs> he's but, still, is uh, he still, is he still f bombing? He's he's calmed down a bit uh, over this past week. Fucking he's great. he's been a good boy. Let's say it that way. His attitude right. is turned for the better. Knock on wood. But uh, yeah, for having a five year old is, is wild too. I mean, my daughter just turned twelve, which is that's yeah blowing my mind and then jackson the so Matt, I, don't, I don't know Man. if you would if I, you would take him seriously but like you know if you if you wanted to go down that route um i highly recommend to people to see if the if your local airport has a civil air patrol unit um 
is they have a program from 12 year olds to 17 year olds. And it's kind of like the boy scouts, but like, mm. way better. okay. So you get like pilots lessons for free. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do. That's cool. And can uh, I do that? <laughs> you can join us at Leopard Trail, Chris. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it's for okay. adults, but like you, they do have a youth program though. Uh, and okay. I'm, pro- I'm probably too old to do it. Uh, and ages them. I did it. That's what, that's how I know. Cause I did it in my county. Um, uh, and then you know if he's still if he likes it past mm-hmm. that you know you can go to the Air Force Academy and it just open up so many different doors than right. just doing it like a regular civilian. Right, right. Um, I can say that would I, be, that, a big a fun. Yeah. That would be a fun. Then you become a pilot for the airlines. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what he's he's uh, making bank. Uh huh. Yeah. He but could be an ast- he could be an astronaut. The Mars. Civil Air Patrol route, though, is really interesting in that you already have your hours to become a pilot ah, by the okay. time you're mm. basically 18 years old. Yeah. And then you, if you didn't even go to the Air Force Academy, you join, uh, depending on what rank you are within the Civil Air Patrol, you can join mm. in, like, basically already at, like, a, a high-ranking sergeant in the Air Force if you went the Air Force route. So it's, like, it's already, like, a bonus to do it as a, ch- as a kid. Uh, okay. But, like, but if you're in that phase, the kid, like a lot of us do, right. like the military mm. phase, you probably will grow out of it in those five mm-hmm. years. So it's well, like, I mean, it's you know. it's it's something where it's like, okay, well, if you're interested in this, you know, I told him I was like, uh, you worked for NASA. Um, mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of. I was. I'm just looking at him. I'm just like, Joanne you know, there's a lot playing. of there's a lot of distractions that can come along the way. You know, between now and and you oh, know, yeah. so you just need to stay stay focused with your studies because he's he is good at math and he he is very math oriented. So. Um, I will just just take a look at it. Yeah, so, no, no, I I wrote it down. So yeah. hear what um, I said. that's cool. I did, I did hear what you said too. So. I did have one Ava story though. I know I, <laughs> I took her. I took her grocery shop and we go to Costco gas. And I, I've already told my wife several times You're I don't like though. driving with her because she's always da, 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 da. so she's in the back in her car seat and she goes, "Why did you pick this line?" <laughs> she just you. I go, oh my god. I she goes, it's moving over there. I go, she goes, this is gonna take a hundred years. I told you this when we because you said it wasn't gonna take this long, it's gonna take a hundred years. You're in the wrong line. I'm like going, I go, I go, every line moves. You have to, it's it's once the cars are filled up, then you can go. She goes, that one's going faster than this one. Dude, that kid's dad is fucked. (laughs) <laughs> he's never gonna win an argument nope. in that house nope. I, I, just, I was just like going there's no way out for him oh my, oh god. my god send him go, send him some beers or something like i go jesus christ i go i go you know tough. you're a pain i go you're a pain in the ass you're a pain in the ass and she just looked at me anyway <laughs> go ahead go ahead with the email i'm done all right so it's uh one of randy's jokes um i did reply uh, to him and does he time. have them yeah, I know. I kind of was like, Jan- I was like, Randy, I'm like 90 percent wow. sure you've already told hey, us this joke, but we I don't, don't have to. Pl- anyway. We don't have to read him because he's already asleep. That's true. But he yeah, he will we'll just catch it later. But he wrote, "What's the difference between Iron Man and Aluminum Man?" The gut. Um, one folds, one foils. The plot, one foils. It's, uh, the crime. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. I don't know. I don't know. So Jack was the closest, but hmm. Iron Man stops the bad guys. Aluminum Man just foils their plans. Oh, hmm. I don't Dude. think he's—I don't think he's oh. told that one before. Yeah, oh, I knew that one. But like I guess oh. like, that's hmm. what I, I figured he, I learned it. From that's a—that's one that you learn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, on that high note, um, we're going to wrap this thing up. It's a short show tonight, guys. Yeah, because uh, somebody. Don't, don't get pegged. Um, <laughs> unless, you, unless, unless you want to. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Yeah. Um, but we're going to thank all our patrons. I think uh, all the patrons. Uh, you can become a patron. Go to jjack.com, blah, blah. I feel so special. I bet. All of them. Yeah. 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 But we're going to thank uh, four patrons who reach a certain level. Echo Rigner, Glavler, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the plan, who works for NASA. And Ed, the creepy poopy letter carrier. Thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for everyone who listens to us and likes us and sends us emails and all that fun stuff. That's all we got. Hasta luego.
and goodbye, my daughter. Later. Au revoir. See you guys. Arrivederci. <laughs>